Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. And uh, let me say that from Senator Collins and Murkowski asked if the President's, asked the President's counsel if they could give an example of, of the President expressing concern about Hunter and Joe Biden before the former Vice President announced his candidacy. The President's counsel could not point to a single example to support the claim. So he made up a bogus excuse that his answer was limited to what's in the record. Senator Romney asked the President's counsel if they could clarify the specific date when the President ordered the delay in military assistance and what reason he gave for doing it. Again, President's counsel could not point to anything to answer Senator Romney. Now these are crucial points and they get right at the question of corrupt motive. The simple, factual questions and the President's counsel unable to answer them, wow. You know who could help them answer those questions? Mick Mulvaney, John Bolton, and our other two witnesses. Look, they said they were not demanding absolute immunity. So I asked them to name a single document or a single witness that the House counsel requested as they went through the process that the President said okay, not one. They couldn't name one. Mr. Philbin had to filibuster. Wait, well, he the vote of what message would it I hear he's correcting it on TV today. That seems to be Mr. Dershowitz's pattern. He gives a statement on the floor and then spends the next day correcting it. What a load of nonsense. By Dershowitz logic, President Nixon did nothing wrong in Watergate. He was just breaking into the DNC to help his reelection, which of course is in the public interest, according to Dershowitzian logic. The Dershowitz argument, frankly, would unleash a monster. More aptly, it would unleash a monarch. The jury privately on the question will decide. Voices. Republicans have gone from denying the president what the president did to normalizing it by claiming every president does it, to now saying there's nothing wrong with it even if he did it. It's incredible. The lengths they will go to justify something most of them, not all, but most, know is wrong. The fate of much of the future of how this republic conducts itself is on the shoulders of four Republicans. I believe Senate Republicans and the President's team are worried about the vote. Yesterday, Mr. Sekulow said that if the Senate elects to subpoena witnesses and documents, the President's team will force all sorts of manner of delay. Oh, okay, well, I don't want to, I don't want to characterize. The bottom line is our focus is on the vote on witnesses and documents. As you know, the leader's um, uh, resolution doesn't go past that. The minority has rights, and we will exercise those rights. Like what motions We're not going to get into that here. Our focus right now is on getting the four votes.